And so also we want to share that media can spark movements. We know when we look at movements, there's so many factors involved. There's prayer, there's people on the ground, there's God's timing, so many aspects. So we're not saying media is the only one, but we can see how it can help. A media piece that's made by and for the people, that it's indigenous, it's cultural, that it can really excite them to say the gospel can be within my community and I can live out my faith within my community. And so we're just going to share with you a case study of one group that this has come about. About 15 years ago, Creator International did a gospel film for the Banjara people, which is, um, their language is Lombardi. You might have heard of that name as well. Uh, but they're an unreached people group in India of about 60 million, so quite a large group. And they are can be found all over India, but especially uh, in in the central area, central and northern area. Uh, and we were asked to come. We did a gospel film. This is an old picture of our, our team there. And uh, you can't see me there, but I had a little more hair if you would see me. Uh, but so we did this film. Uh, it was called Transformations. And uh, uh, about, uh, well, immediately after we produced the film, the people started using uh, this film to share the gospel with their own people. And uh, we were actually asked about five years later, five years after we produced the film, they said, look, we're going to have a big celebration time where we're going to show the film and we would really love it if you guys could be there. And so we happened to be in India around the same time. So we said, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll come. And so um, we actually uh, came in a taxi and we were coming over a dirt hill. This was down in Hyderabad, India. And we came over a dirt hill down into the valley where they were actually going to have their gathering. And we were so surprised that we saw 12,000 Banjara that were gathered there. It was a huge gathering. And we got to see some of the actors and get our pictures taken. Of course, they wanted their pictures taken with us. We've got to share and give them uh, some new devices, new projectors and, and uh, master copies to be able to use and their work because they what they did is they immediately took the film and they started using it right after we had sent it to to them and we we sat down with their church planting uh leaders and said well how do you use it they said well we go into a village we show the film people get saved and we put them into uh, uh groups uh home church groups and then we go on to the next village and do the same thing and we've been doing that for five years and so uh, they were celebrating uh, the fruitfulness of that whole time. And uh, we, as we began to sit with them and ask them, well, how's it going? How, what's the response to the film? They told us, well, we now have about 10,000 Banjaras that have gotten saved after seeing the film. And we've started about 500 new churches in just the past five years. And we were so excited to hear this. We, Carol and I thought, oh, well, the Lord can take us to heaven right now. This is, this is wonderful. This is what we dreamed about uh, uh, happening. And uh, so it's not the film by itself, but it's the film together with DMM. And that combination, using that, it's, it, you get the dynamic of media uh, multiplying, and, and it's, it's just exciting. And so we were so happy to hear about this. And uh, you, you probably um, remember when I was talking about YouTube, and uh, we were actually, because we noticed that all these people, uh, the indigenous partners, uh, were actually putting it on their websites or on their uh, YouTube account and getting lots of uh, views, we thought, okay, let's keep looking. Well, we found another brother who had put the Banjara film up on his, and he now has 900,000 views. When we saw this, we, we were just completely surprised. We didn't know what to say or think. And I thought to myself, well, I knew that there was 10,000 Banjaras a few years ago, or you know, 10 years ago, uh, and, but I've not heard anything from them since. We've lost track, uh, we've lost contact with the people who we were working with in this movement. And so I thought, I'm going to contact, try to contact them again and find out what's going on. And so I did, 
And they immediately, within a couple of days, wrote back, oh, brother, it's so good to connect with you. We lost your email. We couldn't contact you. Yes, we would be happy to tell you the news about uh, the Banjara coming to Jesus. And we actually, I'll send you an, a more detailed report later, but I'll first start by sending you this graphic that we just made on the work. And so he sent this graphic to us. And he said, oh, but brother, it's not 10,000 Banjaras that have come to Christ. It's 2 million. 2 million. And I just did what I'm doing now. And that's starting to weep. Uh, I couldn't believe it. I was so overjoyed. Carol and I were just, wow, we just praised the Lord for days after first hearing this, that two million Banjaras had come to Christ. And we said, are you still using the phone? And they said, oh, yes, brother, we still use it the same way. We're just, you know, that's the way we train our people. <laughs> so we thought this is so exciting. And we had heard because the Banjara are a gypsy people in India, they travel all over. The, the workers working with them said, probably they'll begin to reach other people groups as well. Well, you can see at the bottom here, it says they're now working with 200 different unreached people groups in India. So this large unreached people group has seen a tremendous uh, movement to Christ. And it's actually, now they don't just have 10,000 saved. They got 10,000 actual church planting workers, as you can see, working in 23 states uh, uh, in, in India with over 200 different people groups. So this was so exciting, and we wanted to be able to share this with you, not to glorify us, but to glorify God, and to also show you a real live example of what we're seeing in terms of the effect of media when we combine it with DMM. And so imagine all those workers going out, the, they're going out to 200 different groups, and yet they could have an indigenous gospel presentation on their phone. And this was the cry, we were just even at a recent movement leaders meeting, and Cindy and Reg were there, and, and we thought, how can we serve you guys? And they said, can you help us with media? Because our workers can't go to every place and we don't want West, too many Westerners coming on, but you could help us do media. And so we want to address the needs of field workers evangelizing and discipling thousands of workers. We need to use the power and reproducibility. So anyone with can record a short video testimony or teaching on their smartphone and then distribute it to others. And so we want to see the gospel on every screen and that when you see people looking at uh, their subway, being in the subway looking at their uh, phones, wow, wouldn't it be great to sh see the gospel message being shown on every screen. And so that's really our heart that we would see a whole army of indigenous film producers across all sections of the unreached utilize this technology. It's not just for media professionals or those that can afford a media gear. Now everyone has the ability to use their own personal mobile phones to be a media evangelist and trainer. So we, we're seeing this and so we want to respond to this by starting smartphone filmmaking seminars. And so in 2021, uh, 2021, we want to launch these five-day seminars, and you can tack it on to a multipliers gathering or a seminar, and we could come in, and our teams can train your trainers of how they can do record testimonies and short dramas and different um, different aspects of sharing the gospel, and then they can then train their uh, people. So we want to see an army of people, not just a few, but Every indigenous church planter would know how to use their smartphone uh, for evangelism and training. So we're really excited because the Lord really showed us one day when we were praying recently about this. And uh, the Lord was challenging us about this whole idea of everyone, of, of believers from all different unreached people groups being equipped to be able to use um, they're, you know, what they have, that they don't have to go out and get expensive equipment and all this. And the Lord really reminded us of the story of Moses, where Moses said, I can't do this. I'm not 
equipped. And God said, what's that in your hand? And then God told me, put your hand on your pocket. What's that in your hand? And that was a mobile phone. And so I immediately went out and got myself a $70 Android phone, which I'm now holding in my hands. This has now become my mobile uh, uh, film production studio and camera and everything right here. And you can get free software that helps you to, to maximize the capability of the camera in it, free software that you can edit right on it, and you can uh, produce really nice, short, little, uh, impactful gospel videos that can be used on social media or Bluetooth to your friends and, and used in the process of DMM. So that's something we're really excited about. And this visual that we, this is a banner that we had produced and we, we did it specifically this way because this is the unreached peoples. We believe unreached peoples are going to be the believers from unreached people groups are the ones that are going to bring a huge harvest in from the unreached world. All these languages, all these peoples are going to be running into heaven. We're going to meet them. As it says in Revelation 7, 9, some from every tongue, tribe, and nation standing before the Lord. And it's, it's going to be this a huge army of media producers that God raises up amongst these people to reach their own people, but also the other unreached peoples that they have natural networks and relationships with. We all know that the people we're working with, most of them speak multiple languages, maybe three or four or five different languages. They could be produ producing these short little clips and testimonies uh, that could be used to reach out to all these peoples, and they could exponentially multiply what has been done. And so we'll come back on and say thank you for uh, listening to us and we'll show you our different tools that we have here, the phones and uh, our different aspects. So My $70 Android phone for media. Mm -hmm. And that we want to be a resource uh, to you with our create. Uh, international people, but also our, our contextual resources, and we're part of the Vision 59 media resources. So we're passionate for what you're doing and the new wineskins God's going to release to all of us, and we want to see you on the field and keep in touch of how we can help you be more effective with media resources on the field. Yeah, bless you.